Hi everyone, Gothic Witch here. Welcome to Ostara 2021. I hope you enjoy. This is my ritual, my way. I cast this circle in love and light. I cast this circle to keep us safe and bright. I cast this circle to keep all ills out. I cast this circle with my inner might. I cast this circle in the name of Iduna Air Guardian of the East I do summon call you to be present in this my ritual so might it be Fire I do call thee present to be in this my ritual and so call you now. So might it be. Water. I do call you into this my circle. I do welcome you and call you now. Into this circle. So might it be. Earth. I do call you into this thy circle. I welcome you into this, my ritual tonight, so much of them. By the powers within me, I do review cool bad energies from this, thy water, and enter only pure things that must. I do bless this salt that will now conjoin with this water. Let all impurities be gone and all good herein. So might it be you are conjoined as is if life would be water and salt, impurity. And we now purify this room and circle to keep us pure and safe, protected against all ills in the name of all the gods, goddesses, the fairies, the principalities, all that would want to be here to keep us safe this day. So might it be. I now anoint myself for I am divinity on earth as all are, as we are the controller of our own universes. So mote it be. O oh, light of the world, great mother in the sky, we bring forth the light of spring equinox this day and we celebrate your light. Idu, Iduna, goddess of immortality bring forth your energy this day as we celebrate spring equinox bring forth your light into this light time of the year as the 
we'll lose round from winter into spring. We thank you for your energy. Blessings of the herb, myrrh, descend to the heavens, descends to the realms of the gods. And may it sanctify this circle and all that's within at this time of light and joy. Goddess of youth and beauty, goddess of the gods and the goddesses, who keeps them ever young, ever in their positions. We thank you for your representation of spring and youth and fertility, and we seek you to be with us this day in our circle to rejoice in yet another year as the wheel has turned yet again and we are in the beginning of the great sun coming back. We notice the daffodils and the crocuses and the little bells in the woods. We notice this, the lamb starting to get pregnant and give forth life to all who are now at that time of life where they can be fertile and give birth to keep this beautiful earth alive. Keep your immortality coming, O oh Great One. We ask you to be here this day to save us. Yes. Yes. Hi everyone. This is Iduna, the great goddess. Iduna, the great goddess of the Norse tradition, who is a representation of the goddess Iostra, which we use a lot in pagan times, in pagan celebrations in, in England. What I get out of this is the fact that even in other traditions, there is a similarity in the gods and goddesses which is nice but the story of Iduna is that she looked after all the gods and goddesses she was classed as a little bit simple a little bit naive and the poet husband Braggy was also classed similar they wasn't taken seriously but they were loved because they had she had the apple the apple which we have given to her. In Viking times, she didn't have an apple. She had the fruit of that era, of that place, of that time. When she was taken and Loki went to find her, he turned her into a nut and flew her back home so that the gods would be safe and they wouldn't get old and they wouldn't use their, lose their youthful appearance. And so she came back and she once again held the apples of immortality and youth and beauty and fertility and all the things that's necessary. Um, so she's quite a, a lovely goddess to work with. Her energy is very airy, which is nice for this time of the year. And it's nice to feel that flow like air and it comes in with the scent. Now, I'm burning myrrh because myrrh is a protection. It's also very powerful to the Great Mother. She is one of her favourites. And it's also good for healing those that are in grief. And at the moment we are going through a time where a lot of people have lost a lot of loved ones through this virus. And even though we're coming into spring and a new newness of life we mustn't forget that some people are still in a lot of grief and we can ask Iduna to come through 
and give healing and to help heal these people. Um, I'm going to bring this candle very, very gently because it's not very stable and I'm going to put this in front of here and I want anybody out there who is going through a very sad time a grief of a loss of, doesn't mean it has to be coronavirus it can be anything that they have passed with they're all loved ones and they've all left us and a lot of people need a lot of healing green is the colour of healing it's the colour of the earth it's the colour within ourselves part green, part pink in our heart look into the candle my friends and remember this one that you've lost and ask that the hurt and the, the terrible feelings that you are feeling be helped to remember these people with love and affection but not feel so devastated that the new year ahead can bring a way to walk forward never forgetting them but walking in less pain I ask you Iduna to please come and help these people to send your flame and burn away their troubles to give them an outlook for life and hope for the future this includes all the animal kingdom too anyone who's lost pets those that are family to them and are close to them. All the elderly that have died alone and there's no one to mourn them. Let it be known that they have passed. Let it be known that people should still mourn them in some way. Mourning is normal. Mourning is a thing that we all have to process. But with such the amount of people on this earth at the moment that are mourning, we need help, we need spiritual guidance and help and I seek this Sedona, please come and aid all these poor people, all these poor animals aid this earth and let it come back to life with hope look into the flames my friends visionise your loved one see them smiling at you see them longing but wanting you to now walk forwards yourself for all the time you hang on to them they can't walk forwards either so we pull down that brick wall and we say farewell to our loved ones that have passed and they're low to walking forwards knowing that they are in the arms of the great mother and that we will see them again just look into the candle for a moment. As you see it flicker. So like the heartbeat is life. Thank you, Iduna. Thank you. I do consecrate this in the name of Iduna. Give joy and peace to the world and light cometh in. Hail. Skull. offering for Aduna is the apple, the apple of immortality. There is a spell you can do with this. If you cut it the opposite way while thinking about what you wish to walk forward in, it will show you a secret and I'm going to do that for you now. So what we do 
is we take our, this is not the athame, this is the white handled knife which is used in circle work. Never use your athame if you use one because that is for magical purposes. Okay, so I'm going to cut it. Instead of this way, which a lot of people do it that way, you cut it this way, yeah? So, let's cut it. This up. Thinking about what it is you want, stability, walking forward, some more health issues to get better, relationships to repair, and as you see, in the middle, can you see that, is the five-pointed star, the pentacle, earth, air, fire and water, and you in your own bubble, your little universe. This is your spell, but it is also being offered to the great goddess. So what you're doing, you're putting in what it is you wish for. You'll then take a bite. Harry Doona, please listen to my prayer and help it to come nutrition. You see that? You can have that half. And this half you put as an offering. No really what else we could do in this ritual but you could do what you want. You could get um, a pot with earth in and put seeds in and water it. That's another good way of uh, in <sighs> Making things grow, so your intent is making that plant grow, so every time you water it, you're growing something. So the intent, if you put what it is you want onto that, and every time you water it, it will grow. And that's a good way of doing things. Also, a lot of people will then sit down and have a feast within circle. Um, not necessary, but a lot of people like to do that. I know they do that in the Alexandrian tradition, and in or sometimes after with the others. With garden areas, it varies depending on what they're doing and where you are, obviously. If you're outside, then it takes a lot to carry everything. You need a few people to bring everything with you. So I think it's time now that we will close the circle. And it's been a nice circle. I've enjoyed my circle today. So we get the... Then I, um, actually I'm going to use, I'm going to use my star because I do like to close using my star. And so we say, air, wonderful air, who have brought forth joy this day in this, my ritual. I do thank you for coming. And ere you depart to your fair and airy realms. I do bid thee hail and farewell. Fire, that has brought much energy and warmth into this, my ritual. I do thank thee for attending this. And now you, I ere ye depart to your fiery realm, hail and farewell. Water, who brings forth emotion, who brings forth the living waters of life. I thank you that you came and joined into this, my ritual, and ere you depart to your fair and watery realms, hail and farewell, earth, with your stability and your fertility, that you've brought forth stability, this ritual. I thank you that you attended, and ere ye depart to your fair and earthly realms, hail and farewell, hail and farewell. To all the gods, the goddesses that have watched, and especially to Iduna that is present with us, I thank you that you spent time to be with us 
this day. And I bid you hail and farewell. Hail, farewell, skull. The circle is um, finished, it's closed, it's when you get to this point my friends you can you can sit down and relax, you can do things that you want to do. I hope you enjoyed this, it was short but you don't have to do lengthy rituals but it is nice to um, do rituals, it's nice to keep up with the wheel of the year, it's nice to maybe learn about different gods and goddesses at each celebration. It helps to learn the pantheon that you want to be in. It helps you to get an idea of the energies that's in, imposed in it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave it there. If anybody wants to know anything, please quote down below. If it's your first time watching, thank you very much. And please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And I appreciate that. To any new subscribers, I thank you. Really appreciate it. And to all my ones that follow me, thank you also. And I wish you all a really happy Ostara. Wherever you are, whatever time of day or night it is, I wish you a fantastic Ostara. Hausa Valang.